She was crying and telling me how much Belle was, obviously hinting on me bailing her out, so her parents wouldn't find out right away. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another post. Guys, I saw this article. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can check it out if you'd like. Um, again, guys, I'll be back tonight at 8.30. Make sure you come back for that. At 8.30, I'll be back. But you guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So, she wasted her only call on me. And I hung up. <laughs> Cheated on me while I was at basic training, then claimed she was attacked by someone. Later to find out it wasn't. Oh, wow. So she, wow. Mm, mm, mm. She tried to say somebody assaulted her. Wow. Once later on summer leave, I get a call from a robot. An inmate from local county jail is trying to contact you. Press 1 to accept. I thought it was one of those prank dial things, so I wanted to play along. Turns out it was her. My number is the only number she memorized. She had a party at her parents' place while they were out and it got busted for drugs and other various things. She was crying and telling me how much bail was, obviously hinting on me bailing her out so her parents wouldn't find out right away. I said to her, dang, that sucks, bruh, and hung up. <laughs> She wasted her one phone call. I don't know the exact terminology, but found out she got pinned for for possession, for drug possession, MIP, and a few other alcohol minor related felonies. Wow. Wow, that karma fell right in your lap. That karma revenge just fell it fell right in your lap. Oh, nice. Let's check out another one here. I abandoned her in a concert. <laughs> when I found out my girlfriend cheated on me, I didn't do anything right away because we had plans to see a concert out of a province coming up. I took her to the concert, excused myself to the bathroom, and just left her there. She got the message. <laughs> Wait, one more, one more, one more. She is getting sued for sure. Uh-oh. My ex-wife got pregnant with another man about three to four months into our separation. Announced her pregnancy on our company's internet. We both worked at the same company at the time. Even though she was planning on quitting, refused to honor parts of our divorce settlement she originally agreed on and signed. And then tried to run off on all her debts. I had collectors harassing me and my family looking for her. Apparently, she changed her number, and she had no known address. Fortunately, I was able to get back at her. I was able to convince her to sell the house she originally wanted to keep as per the divorce settlement, but later backed out on. During this process, our realtor used a digital signature platform so we didn't have to see one another. Anytime you sign a document on this platform, it leaves a trail with your IP address. My ex-wife had signed every document using a computer from the house her baby daddy lives in. I then used a free site online that can trace where an IP address originates. It gave, it gave me approximate GPS coordinates. I went on Google Maps and found the street and once I knew the street, I could search through my state's property search to identify all owners on that street. All I had to do was find the name of her boyfriend and basically found where she was living. The next time the collection agencies called, I gave them her new address. Her getting sued for not paying her bills is the least she deserves. Nice. Guys, what do you think about these revenge stories? Let me know in the comments how you feel about these stories. Again, I'll be back tonight at 8.30. Make sure you come back for that. I'll catch you guys later.